Welcome to VIP Solutions. I'm Sianchi Jain, and today we will see how to create books in narrative reporting. By books, we mean that combining different reports, books, other documents to create a single document in PDF format. What all documents or what all things we can add in our uh, uh, books? We can add books in books that is manage, uh, uh, management report, books table of content and we can also add word file pdf file but for that word file and pdf file they these all need to be added into a library of narrative reporting so let's get started we'll go to a narrative application first we will establish the connection between the uh, my narrative reporting application and my uh, target application that is my fccs application my connection have been already done so i need not do it again now, as I said, we need to create books and in that book, we need to add reports. So what are reports we were going to add? Let's see, we will go to reports. This is my balance sheet. I will click. This is my report, which I'm going to add. It has grids and uh, charts. Okay, second report, which I'm going to add is this one. These all reports have been created in my previous session. This is again the report. So I'm going to add these reports in book. And uh, we will also add some uh, uh, Word document and uh, PDF documents. So let's get started. We we'll go to the home page. We will go to books. Now here we will create. Click on create. We will add new book. Now here we need to uh, we need to uh, select the uh, report which we want to add in our book. So our my uh, reports were selected in management, and we need to very we need to be very specific regarding the folders in which we are uh, um, uh, uh, saving our reports and other documents because. Only these documents, if we save the uh, our reports in this predefined set of uh, uh, folder, then only we could browse it in uh, in these books. So I've uh, saved my report in the management. My uh, book, my uh, document name is balance sheet 3007. I will click on it. Then I will transfer it to the left column. And then I will click on OK. Before clicking on OK, I want to show you one thing. Let's close this. No, we will do it again. We will click on create. I will browse my file, my report, which is in the management. This is my file. I will select it and bring it to the right column. Here you can see that the data source, my uh, my data source is FCC underscore 30. That means I have defined my data source and it will automatically take the data source. So I have not given any connection uh, now. It has already taken the connection which I have defined uh, uh, previously. So uh, it has taken the connection automatically. Now we will click on OK. Here we could see that the balance sheet, our report has been, uh, could, we could see our report in this book. Now let's save it first and name our book. Let's name the book as book testing or book for demo. And I will save it to my library. I will just click on save. Now I want to add more reports and more documents to my book. So I will drill down this and then I will select whether I want to add above 
this report or whether I want to add below this report. So I will add below this report and I will select artifacts. Now here also I need to define where my report is saved. Management. My report is click on OK. Uh, there is some error in this file. Let's select some different file. Delete this file. This red mark shows that the file you have selected or you have or something you have done is wrong. So let me select again. This is artifact. This is my demo. FCCS uh, demo 27 new. I will click this. Select OK. There is something wrong with this file. So let's not take this file. We can take any other file. Let's take this file only, a new file. Yes, I have added the uh, second report to this. Now you can see that all the POVs uh, uh, have came. Now we will see the preview of it, how our report look like. We will go to preview. It will take a bit of time. It has automatically taken my POVs. So my first report was balance sheet underscore 3007. So this is my report. Then I added the another report, which I think was blank. That's why figures didn't uh, came. And that's why chart is uh, uh, also not there. I just took, uh, took that report to show how to add another report. Because my previous reports uh, were giving error to me. Okay, so I will click on edit. Now, we have added the report. Now we will add some, uh, now we will add the uh, table of content to the book. So I will click on the this drill down button and then I will uh, select add above because table of content should be at the top and I will click on add on TOC, TOC's table of content. I will click on this. It will ask for the uh, file. It's, I have already uh, saved this table of content in my library. I can show you. Let's save it first and then let's close it. I will go to a library. This is my table of content. I'm oh, sorry, this is management. This is my library. This is my table of content new. How can we, uh, how, how we can add this table of content? We will just click on uh, this add button. We will go to upload file. And then this select the word file or table of content file. I will upload it again. Let me rename my file. So I will go to my application again. I will click on create. My, I will go to upload file. Choose the file from the uh, my uh, system. My file name is table of content two. So I've selected the file. Click on OK. Because until unless you will save the file to the library, we cannot browse it in our book. We will again go to our book. My file has been saved and updated. We'll go to book. Our file, uh, our book was, name was book for demo. We will open it, click it.
we want to add that table of content which we just saved to the library. Let's go to edit. Now we will uh, click on this drill down button. Click above. We will click on add TOC. We will select our file. This is library. From library, we have table of content new to. We will click on OK. You could see that a table of content new has been added. We can go and have the preview of it. What does table of content mean? By table of content, we mean that the content of the table will be defined in this table of content. It is converting to PDF. Finish. This is my uh, this is my table of content. It has the header, name of the company. I've taken any name. This is the annual report. It has the footer. Now, table of content. You can see that I've taken this report balance sheet three double zero seven and balance sheet three double zero seven. It has the all the POVs which I have defined. And next is our report, which I have selected. This my this was my report one three zero zero seven, and this was three zero zero seven new, which do not have figures. Okay, so we could see in the preview that the all the files that we have selected we could view in our preview. Now again we will go to edit. We have added the table of content. Now, if for suppose we want to add uh, one uh, PDF document, so what we will do is we will go to we will click table of content new. Sorry, table, uh, balance sheet new, and then we will select. Add bill, uh, add above artifacts again. Management, my uh, PDF document is saved in management. This image for book. This is the PDF file. I will select this and click on OK. image has been added we will see again through preview it's converting to pdf format a book is in pdf format book is also used by various departments to show their uh, to show their uh, uh, performance and to note the individual performance of the department. Image of the book has been added in the content. It's adding automatically. This is the image. This is the PDF I have uh, inserted. So I have inserted the image, PDF image. And this is my rest of the report. I will go to edit again. Let's save this. Now, like for suppose, as I said, it is used by various departments also to uh, have their uh, view of their own performance. So if you want to uh, write the that what type kind of book it is or what kind of report it is for the department to know whether uh, to differentiate between the books, we can add the section to it like we will go to again drill down add above we will add now section now let's suppose say we want the report of or book for the purpose of accounts so we will name the book let's name it as book one now we will select the dimensions for which we want to have the book we will click on add 
I will click on accounts and we'll click on OK. We will again click on OK. You could see that it will get added to our uh, review. We will see. Review takes a bit of time. It is getting processed. Finish, yes. Now we can see that we have added accounts. So in our table of content, we could see accounts. Book one. We could see book one here. That means it's account. We could name it as any other name in order to differentiate what kind of uh, uh, report is this or book it is. So we can do this through adding section. This is the, uh, through this book, we can have the view of the entire report or we can add various reports together. Let's save it. This was for today. Thank you. For any queries, reach out to us at www.gaispsolutions.com. Thank you.